Approximate the measures of center for the following frequency distribution. The mode, the median, and lastly, the mean. Now, in order to come up with these values, uh, we have a problem with these data ranges, and that the data ranges themselves are technically qualitative pieces of information because that dash in between them doesn't have any mathematical meaning. So we need to convert this into something that we can use mathematically. So what we're going to do is calculate the midpoints of each of the classes. Now the midpoint between 50 and 52 is the average of the class limits. So a lower class limit of 50 and upper class limit of 54, that midpoint should be 52. Now there is a formula for that and if you just need to do an average of two numbers you can add them together and then divide by two. And you come up with 52, um, although it was, I think it was pretty easy to see that was the case here. Now, if you get the next midpoint, if you take 55 plus 59 and divide that by 2, that will give you 57. Uh, that's all well and good. Uh, but if you'll notice, the difference between these two is 5. So 57 minus 52 is 5. The difference between any two consecutive lower class limits or upper class limits is also 5. So that's what's known as the class width of the distribution. So you can get the first midpoint and then just repeatedly add the class width to get the rest of the midpoints. And it looks like there's uh, quite a few here, so just bear with me. All right, now the mode. In order to answer the mode, we're going to use the midpoint as our answer. But it's the midpoint that corresponds to the class with the highest frequency. Now, if you tried to type in 85-89, it probably will interpret your answer as either uh, something that is mistyped or uh, as negative four. Um, either way, uh, the thing that it's looking for is the, actually the midpoint here. So the mode is 87. Now, the median and the mean, that's going to be a little bit trickier. We're going to use the calculator to come up with those. In order to get the calculator to do a median and a mean of a frequency distribution, what we need to do is go into the list editor. So press stat and then enter, and that'll take you into the list editor. So clear out any data that you have in your lists already. And L1 is always going to be your midpoints. And L2 is always going to be your frequencies. So you don't have to worry about where things go in this situation. So you just need to type in your midpoints and frequencies into the list. OK, so those are in. I went ahead and typed them all in off, off screen here. And now what we're going to do is some calculations based off of that data. All of those calculations will be done in the one bear stats program. So hit stat, slide over to calc. The very first item is one bear stats. Uh, if you have this menuing system, that's great. Just put L1 uh, as the first item, L2 as the second, since we have midpoints in L1, frequencies in L2. If you don't, uh, then hit second, so you should see one bear stats on the screen. So then hit second and one, and that'll put L1 on the screen. Then hit a comma, which is right above the seven. And then hit second and two, and that'll put L2 on the screen. Either way, after you type that in, press enter to calculate, and it will run the one bear stats. So the median, we have to scroll down to find, and that is 82. So the median here is 82, and then the mean, the mean, we scroll back up to find the value of that. The weighted mean is 
0.83. We'll round to two decimals. But just follow any rounding rules provided in the problem.